So, as one of the pioneers in online Hasbara, telling Israel's story uh, from the grassroots without the filters of the mainstream bias, you're one of the pioneers, and now we see uh, with this month the uh, unfortunate passing of Ari Fold, but the reaction, the, uh, the interest, the reach that online video that, that he has done, not on television, purely online, has reached around. What does that say to you about the importance of online media, social media, Hasbara activity? Uh, I think that's a that's a, that's an interesting topic um, because, I mean, this question is not only about Israel. It's also a question about the state of the internet, the state of communication today, and it is patently true for people in this generation that Netflix is much more important than CBS on television. Sure, it's just you can't even compare it, and so. So we are living in an online world. I came up through the ranks just as, for example, when I came to Arut Sheva, it was exactly when Arut Sheva was still broadcasting off of a ship huh. in order to get to, uh, uh, to, uh, bypass, the, to the, bypass the, the uh, dominant paradigm, the, the yeah. biases, uh-huh. and uh, they were broadcasting a ship offshore. And two weeks before... I moved to Israel to take that position, that ship was shut down. And in that very minute, the, uh, the internet started to blossom. And so we were, and you know, it, it's, a, it's a good feeling when you say that, I, that I've been part of the you know, pioneering crew of that. It is, it is true that we came exactly at the time when we were live streaming radio when it was just kind of happening. Yes. And we were live streaming and podcasting and we were, we were doing everything possible to get the message out. And, um, you know, today it's, 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 uh, it's gone much further than that with the social media aspect. It wasn't even social media per se. There was, there was sure. internet, yeah. but there was no social media. So now the ability to create short films quickly, the ability to podcast very easily, meaning to say the phones, uh, the phones today are these machines that wirelessly receive all that information, you used to have to at least have a you know connection between the phone and the computer and all that kind of stuff. So today everything is very fast and, um, and, and I'm involved today in my fourth radio station. I was involved with Arutz Sheva Israel National Radio, uh, then uh, uh, Galei Israel, then Voice of Israel, now the Land of Israel Network. Uh, and we are broadcasting, and I think that there's more people listening. And part of that is not only because of the message, but the ease of which the message is able to be consumed. Uh, so that's important. Now, now, when it comes to, at the same time, while, while there's all this, what I've just been talking about, which is this like f- a very uh, uh, fluid uh, situation where you can really get information out, at the same time, the enemies of Israel are using that as much, if not more, and and they have really created a lot of anti-Israel bias out there on the internet, especially I think on YouTube. Uh, and also, you sometimes wonder about the biases of um, um, of of the internet organizations like Google, like Facebook. Today, you know, if Facebook doesn't necessarily like what you're saying. It's very easy for them to yeah. tweak an invisible algorithm, yeah. and you're not getting out there. They, they tune down your distribution. I, I think that they do sometimes. Sure. I really think that sure. they do. Yes. Uh, and so that has become a new challenge uh, that, that, that getting the message out uh, faces. Yes. I have faced that. Um, uh-huh. But and, at the and same you, time... Discrimination on YouTube also to, for stopping certain videos? Look, uh, that's exactly the point. I cannot make an accusation and I'm not going to try to make an accusation. The, the fact is, is that we have felt at times, especially on Facebook, that there's been this kind of, and, and groups of people discuss this, that there's been this kind of reduction of, uh, of play of, of your content. In any case, still though, I do think that we're a time of great democratization of the message, uh, but that also means that the bad guys who have a lot of times uh, expendable time and money to create anti-Israel propaganda are working. Um, and so uh, broadly, and they receive a broad uh, rec- uh, uh, 
they, they're represented largely in the mainstream left also. The, the uh, mainstream, uh, uh, the politicos, the, uh, the, the prominent websites uh, against Israel and, and for the Palestinians. So in terms of balance, do you feel that we're at a, at a level of equilibrium? All right, I wouldn't say we're at a level of equilibrium, especially towards young people. I would say that there is definitely a bias against Israel. Israel is, uh, you know, not a sexy brand right now. Uh, it, my brother doesn't like when I use that term, so I'll change the term to to. Um, it's not always an attractive brand, uh, and that is, you know, you could blame Israel for it, but I think also it's fair to say that the enemies of Israel have managed to portray Israel as an occupier and an abuser of human rights. Now, these are absurd claims in so many ways, and yet they've really managed to get that message out, and that is that is definitely a challenge. In terms of uh, equilibrium, like you were asking, look, uh, you know, it's it's, I don't want to overplay the antis because there is today there are today many websites that do give uh, Israel play the conservative voice in the United States has uh, uh, accepted the Israel message the strong Israel message let's call it as part of their messaging so there's a Ben Shapiro and there's a Breitbart and there's you know and and, and then there's many others you know uh, that that get get the message out uh -huh. but Jews who are Democrats tend to discount or th it's been put on them to discount anything that has a bright barter conservative uh, uh, yeah well that's true uh, and that is yet another phenomenon which we are which we are uh, seeing today which is the polarization of the American mind yes uh, of the society right the, the very the, the very America is being polarized yes. and Israel sadly has become a partisan issue and and they these two clans are taking it these tribes are taking it in, in different directions and that is of course lamentable for israel you know we are not here to partner strictly with the conservative movement uh, i am not here to 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 part it to uh uh to just break bread with them no you know what i mean the the democrats have a long tradition of, of loving israel but that is today being challenged that is being challenged for sure um Listen, with all of these challenges, we continue to work. And I could tell you that in my personal uh, reach, there's just a feeling that the podcast it, that I do weekly, and I've been doing radio now for 15 years uh, in English for the world, there's a sense that more and more people are connecting to it. Um, um, uh, our videos in general have a, have a lot of success.